Hi. Hi everybody, we're here in Chester and today we are going to be hiding Chili Charlie. As you can see there's the Eastgate clock, the iconic landmark in Chester. Um, look, look, there's a bird. Can I adopt it? <laughs> well, we're going to be hiding Chili Charlie somewhere in the shopping rows. So if I What's flip it that? around, let's show Chili Charlie. Da, 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 da. And ba, 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 ba. let's flip the camera around. Okay, so we are going to head over that way and we're going to jump onto the shopping rows which go all the way along here. Okay, Kyla. Right, so we're going up these steps. We are now walking along Eastgate Row. Right, so the shopping rows are covered galleries. The two tiered, so we've got the lower layer and the upper layer. So we can reach by a number of stairs. This is Browns of Chester. Let's take a look. So we're looking for hiding places for Chili Charlie. Okay. So this is the site of the old Browns of Chester which closed in 2021. It was regarded as the Harrod of the North. It was established in 1780 no, by Susanna Brown. Wait, how did you get that information? <laughs> it's all on Wikipedia. <laughs> Could we hide Chili Charlie here? <laughs> well, let's take a walk along here now. So the shopping rows are unique to the world and they date from the medieval era and they are built on Roman remains. So as we go we're looking for little hiding places for Chili Charlie. Have you found any yet? Yeah. Um, what sort of stories could you write about the shopping rows? There's a lot of inspiration here. I wrote the novel Mary Draper Dreams of Castles in the Sky about a young schoolgirl who can time travel in her dreams. It's based in Chester and the rose is where the children experience bats, clowns, drunkards and roller coaster rides. If you would like to read it, the link is in the description box below. What story would you write? We are now walking down Bridge Street. So let's think about what kind of stories we can write about which are located in Chester shopping rows. How about a ghost story? An apparition haunts the rows and a tragedy is uncovered or a murder mystery leading to a chilling revelation. What about an art heist in the Rose? A renowned art thief targets a masterpiece rumoured to be within Chester Rose. They discover the painting holds a secret that could change the course of art history. Here is a fabulous idea. There is an enchanted bookseller tucked away within the Rose. The bookseller discovers a book that can bring its stories to life. As characters from the story materialize in Chester, the bookseller must navigate the chaos while searching for a way to contain the magic before it consumes the city. I think that is my favorite idea. 
What do you think? Please comment below. I've got an idea. How about a time travel love story? A bit like Goodnight Sweetheart with Nicholas Lindhurst. Two individuals from different time periods accidentally cross paths in the rows. They must find a way to overcome barriers that threaten to separate them forever. We interrupt you with a message from the future. Hello everyone. I've time travelled to Christmas 2025 to check on the channel. And the good news is it's doing really well. And it's all down to you guys. It seems you've been clicking on the thanks button, raising money to help us provide resources to help spread the joy of storytelling all over the world. So I thought I'd make this little video to send back to the present to show the people who don't know where that button is. So just look below the video, click on the thanks and make a donation. It doesn't matter how small. Thank you so much. End a futuristic message. We're still looking for a hiding place. Have you found one yet? Please comment below. <laughs> so we'll go to the end here where sick to death is. Death, the gory story of medicine through time. Sick to Death is a history of medicine attraction. You can experience the past and explore Diagnosis Alley, but take care to avoid deadly diseases. Have you visited yet? Right, so what we're going to do is, we're going to go down here. Have we found any hiding places yet? Could we put Chili Charlie in the Sick to Death stocks? <laughs> oh. So So here we've got the three old arches which is one of Britain's oldest shop fronts um, and we can jump back on the rows again now. The three old arches can be found on Bridge Street and is a Grade 1 listed building. The building incorporates part of the Chester Rose and was constructed in the 13th century. The half-timbered rows have been part of Chester for over 700 years. Some buildings date back to 1290 or even earlier. The two-tiered system of shops and walkways, steps and passages are unique to the Chester city centre. Is there any hiding places here? No. the um, Roman Diva experience. The Roman Diva experience will take you on a voyage back through time. Led by actors, it is with them you will experience the history of Roman Chester.
Sancho. Are you looking for hiding places? to be having some work done. So we're going to have to jump on round this side. Okay, up here. Have a little peek in there. What are they doing? Now we're on Watergate Street. Found anything? Any good places? And the rows there. So let's time travel up there. <laughs> oh, so Crook Street. Back onto the rows. These are steep. Yeah. Careful on that. That's quite steep. Oh, it's quiet along here, isn't it? Low head, Ooh, mind your heads. <laughs> I 
In place. During the medieval period, the rows gave access to living accommodation. Below the rows at street level were crypts and undercrofts. Many vaults were used for storage or for selling valuable goods. Seem to be doing a lot of work, don't they? Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> so what's happening here? Okay, so we'll go down onto the street view. Yes, be careful, it's very steep. Possible hiding place. One theory is the rows are linked to the debris left from the Roman occupation of Chester. The Roman buildings had fallen into ruin and were piled along the streets. Suggestions are of medieval period buildings being constructed along the top of the debris. So Chester Rows can be found on four main streets leading to Chester Cross. This is Watergate Street, Bridge Street, Eastgate Street and Northgate Street with some remnants of the rows on Lower Bridge Street. This is access to Eastgate Row. But we're going to go along Northgate Street to the steps down there. Let's time travel again to the steps. Now I know how Mary Draper feels with all that year hopping that she does. So, who is Chilly Charlie? Well, he's a snowman, but he's also a story stone. Story stones have pictures on them so they can be used as storytelling prompts. What story would you write about Chilly Charlie? We're now turning onto Eastgate Row. Here is the Boot Inn, which opened in 1643. 
It was built from the timber of ships that had run aground in Chester Harbour. Here is another hidden gem, it's Godstall Lane, tucked away between two well-known streets in Chester and can be accessed from the rows. And here we are, back where we started. So in this walk, we did find a hiding place for Chili Charlie. But before I show you, let's time travel back up to the cross. <laughs> Chester Cross is Grade 2 listed. The original cross dates from the 14th century. It was replaced by a new one in 1476. It was damaged by parliamentarians during the Civil War in 1646. It stands in the middle of the four streets. Bridge Street. This is looking towards Eastgate and Northgate Street. And this is Watergate Street. The head was saved and found in the 19th century and restored near Newgate in 1949. It was then moved here in 1975. It's constructed of red sandstone. It is also the meeting point for the town crier David Mitchell, where he makes his midday proclamations in the summer. What stories could you write about Chester Cross? Here's an idea. It could be a time rocket. Or you could touch it to gain superpowers. So, bye Chili Charlie. Bye. Say bye. Bye Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, okay. oh, so we found a nice hiding place for him. Oh. Why not? We can't see him. Charlie, we have to go back. We missed it. Do you genuinely miss Chili Charlie? Thank you for watching. Now go and explore and see if you can find out where Chili Charlie's hiding place is on the rose. What will you do with him? Will you keep him or rehide him? Whatever you choose, please take great care of him. And if he's already been found, don't worry, go and explore the rose and then write your own story about Chili Charlie. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Forever, when Kaz has answer.